Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at nuclear energy. What is nuclear energy? Nuclear energy is the energy produced from nuclear fission. It's uh, achieved from a reaction of the nucleus inside of the atom. We don't really have to know this for AS Geography. All you have to know that nuclear energy is energy that's going to be produced from nuclear fission. It's a relatively new energy source which is kind of controversial because it does have many disadvantages. It requires a lot of management in able to limit its impacts and as a result it's going to be hard to be able to carry out in many countries. One country that does use it though is the UK. Many new plants are going to open in Cumbria, but why do we want to use it? Well mainly it's because it provides more energy than oil, coal and natural gas and as a result we're not going to have to be able we are not going to have to be using as many of this to be able to output the same amount of efficient fuel. It doesn't produce as many polluting gases, so oil, coal and natural gas all produce greenhouse gases, but nuclear energy does not. It also lowers the dependence um, from just one energy resource, so we're not going to have to rely on other countries producing oil or coal in order for us to import it and use it for. Also, without it, it would be more expensive to lower carbon emissions by just using renewable energy, but by using nuclear energy, it's more of an affordable way to do this. It also creates a lot of jobs. A lot of jobs are used to be able to manage its impacts, and as a result, unemployment levels will go down. Problems with nuclear energy. The first of which is that it's very noisy. It produces a lot of noise and therefore normally has to be built in areas which are quite secluded, such as that as Cumbria. The research shows that radiation from reactions can also cause cancer, which is a social impact because people are not going to be feeling very well if they're going to be working a lot of time and have long-term exposure to the radiation from the plant. The sites are also risking um, being subject to terrorism and vandalism, as there are a lot of people who disagree with the use of nuclear energy. It also lowers tourism in the area because people don't want to go to an area where they do may well, they may actually be exposed to radiation. The area may become economically dependent on it, which is a problem because then people aren't going to be working in other areas to increase the GDP. Also, the construction of the sites and the decommissioning of radioactive material can harm biodiversity and lower levels of them in the food chain. So how do we manage the consumption of nuclear energy in order to make it sustainable? Well, the NDA, which is the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority, deals with regulations people have to go through in order to manage and then decommission their waste. Firstly, the geology of the area must be stable. When the building is being built or when we're disposing material, the geology must be stable so there is no displacement which can harm the, the environment. Also, the right technology has to be used in order to dispose of the waste. There must also be transport links to and from the site of the plant in order for people to get there easily and it has to be built or disposed away from people's homes so that the radiation does not affect them. It has to be built and disposed away from biodiversity and habitats for the exact same reason, so that it doesn't affect the biodiversity. Here are some questions on the use and what nuclear energy really is. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and hit play for whenever you're ready to answer the questions. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on conservation of energy. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.